See, consistency and perseverance are two qualities that are very much needed. Because if you are studying today for six hours or ten hours, and then you leave the book for one month, what's the point? Your ten hours are going to waste. So maybe you are uh, studying today for six hours, tomorrow for five hours, and someday for just two hours. But you have to study. You have to inculcate this habit. This uh, helps you. This uh, being consistent not only helps you in the preparation phase, but also if you find yourself in a list in in uh, in a organization, you have to be consistently perform. You also have to consistently perform there. So your consistency is a quality which you take. Uh, uh, which you take with yourself to multiple avenues. Hi everyone, uh, welcome to RBI interview series. Today uh, I am with Mr. Vishank. Now Vishank has cleared RBI 2022 examination. This was his second attempt in RBI. And the purpose of this interview is very simple. I know, we all know, you all know, what way did Vishank have prepared? What were his failures? What were his successes? Rahe? How did he convert his failure in RBI preparation into a success? And what all you can learn? as an RBA aspirant. So first of all, uh, uh, welcome to this RBA interview series. Congrats for your success. Thank you, sir. My first question is, very simple thing, that you students to tell them who you are. Uh, a brief introduction about you, starting from educational background. Uh, where did you study? What did you do? Where did you come from? Where did you come All those things. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Vishan Kuspiki and uh, like I said this year I have cleared RBI grade B. Uh, I did my graduation in computer science from uh, IP University and uh, thereafter I started preparing for the civil services examination. I did it uh, till 2020 attempt. I gave three attempts. After that uh, when I was not uh, getting any success there so I took a pragmatic approach and pivoted towards the other examinations which uh, I thought were more fruitful and will give me early results. Mm. So RBI was uh, one of the examinations mm. and uh, when I came to learn about uh, the exam, the organization, what, it, uh, what the goals of the organization are and I found them quite uh, in line with what I want. Mm. So there. I chose, I, I thought that yes, RBI probably is the destination where I want to go. Mm. And uh, last year I gave my attempt, but I couldn't clear the mains. Uh, fortunately, this year I found myself in the final list. Okay. So uh, after your graduation, uh, graduation karne ke baad UPSC ki tiyari kari. UPSC mein jab success nahi mila, to fir कौन कौन से एग्जाम शॉर्टलिस्ट किए कहां पे काम करने का मौका मिला थोड़ा सा लेट्स हैव अ ब्रीफ डिस्कशन अबाउट दैट एज़ वेल सो आफ्टर माय लास्ट अटेम्प्ट आई स्टार्टेड लुकिंग फॉर द एग्जाम्स व्हिच वर गिविंग मी अर्ली रिजल्ट बिकॉज़ यूपीएससी इन इटसेल्फ इज अ वेरी लॉन्ग एंड हार्डस जर्नी सो आई पिन आई मार्क द बैंकिंग एग्जाम्स एंड आई गिव आरआरबी my first uh, banking exam was uh, of RRB and I cleared it. I joined the organization. Alongside it, I, like I said, I gave RBI. And uh, this year also I gave SEBI in order to get in touch with the kind of content mm. and uh, to be remain in sync with the questions that are being asked by the examination authority for the RBI preparation. Mm. And uh, I think that helped. That helped a lot. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you were working in RRB since 2020? 2021, last 2020. year itself I joined in June. 2021, you joined in And then only you started with your RBA preparation? Uh, yeah, alongside I did my RBA preparation. Okay. I think Manish has a question here. Yes. Uh, so, Vishank, as you said that uh, you are currently working in RRB as IT officer and RRB, we all know, are the backbone of agricultural credit in the country. So what were your learning from your current job and I would, I should say, what are your learnings from your current job and do you think that prior experience is important before going to this premier organization RBI? What is your take on this? 
I think job experience uh, has its advantages. Uh, I won't uh, deny that uh, RBI does not uh, encourage freshers to apply. But alongside it, if you have some prior job experience, what it does is it uh, makes you understand how, what team building, what uh, role, what kind of role does an office, does a job ask you and uh, it prepares you for it, the different kind of situations and uh, complexities that comes with the job, that comes with the experience are something uh, that cannot be, I will say, so basically आप ये कहना चाह रहे हैं कि किसी एक बड़ी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में जाने से पहले हमें इस दुनिया को जानना थोड़ा बहुत जरूरी है so that it will help while dealing with your you know peers with your superiors in that organization yeah it does help and also in the sense that since I was in a banking organization I understood what kind of challenges do consumers face in a banking banking world Right, I was also dealing with the consumer grievance. So, the people who deal with the most uh, grassroots level institution, what kind of uh, challenges there are, what kind of deficiencies there are, the bottlenecks there are, uh, and not just the consumers, but the institution itself. Because there are uh, crunches of the funds and uh, the, like I, I used to work in the IT department. So, I know the IT bottlenecks that were there. The server issues and the other things that uh, have come up, and I will definitely like to work on those issues once I get into the RBI. Hmm. That, that's a beautiful uh, thing to learn and to take forward because I think we look at the books we read, we think that everything is there. But when you work in real life and work in such organizations at the grassroots level, you know that there are many things. Yeah, that. Uh, Book knowledge and practical knowledge are something that are very different from each other. Right. Right. So, did it help you in your interview? मतलब I'm going off the charts, but other भी में जो काम किया, जो कुछ सीखा, did it help you? Did do you feel कि interview में कहीं ना कहीं वो interviewers को convince करने में that you belong to RBI? कहीं ना कहीं कुछ उसका role था? I will say that about 40% of my interview actually was about my work uh, and my organization mm. and uh, it does help if you are in a you know you have a prior working experience because then the panelists know mm. that uh, you do have a real life experience you do know what to expect you do have uh, face all the challenges mm. and uh, so it will not be very hard to mold you mm. in uh, any new form. Mm. Uh, I think that way it helps and also like I said I am I was working in a bank hmm. so that also somewhere helps of course yes. yeah. let's jump to the preparation now you started your prep in 2021 banking or RBI ki ho. so tell the students a little bit about how was your experience from 2021 to 22 phase 1 ki se ki, RBI ki. phase 2 ki teori kis tarah se ki क्या आपके चैलेंजेस थे वहाँ, क्या आपके एडवांटेजेस थे वहाँ पर, एंड हाउ डिड यू डील विद ऑल दोस थिंग्स। लेट्स स्टार्ट विद फेज वन, सो फेज वन देर आर फोर सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक क्वांट रीजनिंग इंग्लिश एंड जीए, सो द जीए इन आरबीआई एंड ओवरऑल द बैंकिंग एग्जाम्स दैट आर आजेस वेरी डिफरे� definitely to mold, to reorient my preparations mm. toward uh, the kind of questions, the kind of factual questions that are being asked. Mm. Uh, in, uh, so for that, what I did this year, different from the last year, that uh, I used uh, Spotlight. Mm. I tried to use uh, other magazines also, but uh, I found uh, Spotlight to be quite readable and uh, there was enough data for me to grasp and retain rather than just being reading mindlessly and uh, not retaining anything at the end. Uh, yes, that helped. I read uh, the current affairs for the last six months before the phase one and I did it multiple times so that uh, there is retaining. Also, it helps because in the exam, you can eliminate options. 
because maybe you are not able to remember the exact answer but you will definitely know that this uh, this option cannot be there so that helps and uh, i think my marks in uh, current affairs this year did uh, reflect my preparation for uh, quant reasoning i think being an engineer does help and it helped me because uh, of the analytical approach that uh, engineering teaches you and uh, yeah my main focus this year was to read to pinpoint the questions that i'm able to solve rather than spreading my energy everywhere yeah. i chose the questions which will definitely fetch me marks mm. so if you have been given let's say 60 minutes mm. for uh, quant for reasoning then rather than uh, just mark the questions i mark the questions which i was i thought that will definitely be able to solve i will be able to solve mm. and will be able to clear the cut off as the reasoning section is getting tougher mm. every single year if we see mm. and uh, for quant i have been good at it since uh, my early days mm. uh, but uh, still the kind of questions that rbi asking uh, do need a lot of practice mm. i gave a lots and lots of mocks for that mm. and uh, again the same strategy that pinpointed the kind of questions that i am able to do uh, in the shortest amount of time we did quadratic equations be it the missing number series mm-hmm. or uh, i found myself really good at data interpretation so those were the things for quant and reasoning for english uh, i did not do anything uh, explicitly mm-hmm. because i have been reading newspapers since last 6 to 7 years mm-hmm. and also that uh, we consume a lot of english media nowadays right so there was no explicit preparation mm-hmm. but uh, like i said you must give a lot of mocks to understand the kind of questions that are being asked and uh, just understand what uh, the examiner or the exam wants you to do mm. uh, so that was for phase 1 mm. for phase 2 uh, there are again three subjects esi uh, finance and management and english for uh, economics and social issues my upsc preparation came handy mm. because uh, there were a lot of topics after especially after uh, the syllabus last year has been changed mm. so it came handy because uh, a lot has already been done by me in my previous years preparation mm. it was not something that i was uh, doing all together new and uh, the only thing there was that now again questions have become little factual rather than being analytical they have become little factual mm. so i had to retain the information at what is the allocation which is the ministry and uh, what is the year of implementation how much time it is being implemented for uh, so you should prepare for it for the objective part you should prepare all these things give uh, mocks for descriptive i prepare i have prepared for the upsc mains that help here i have read, i in my previous years have written a lots and lots of answers it was not like that uh, it came out of nowhere mm. and uh, again that's uh, why i was pretty much sure when i was uh, going for the exam that to what whatever the question may be i will write mm. because of this prior knowledge right and uh, you should do a lot of practice for that because uh, when you are typing on a keyboard your uh, if you don't have any prior uh, experience of typing on a keyboard writing for one and a half hour and in this exam for uh, four and a half hours is very tedious task your uh, your finger starts to pain at at a point of time and that's a mental kind of challenge mm. to do so you for overcoming you need to do a lot of practice mm. for uh, finance and management i relied on the materials provided by the multiple coachings mm. and uh, specifically for management because last year Uh, i couldn't clear mains and i think the major factor of that was management because it was a totally new subject for me and uh, i did not have any help or guidance to where to prepare it from and i was just scraping through the internet uh, so i think this year what i did was that i prepared for it uh, comprehensively i went uh, to the syllabus and i prepared point by point to all the theories and uh, the questions that have been asked in the previous year examination and uh, 
uh, yeah, there was also a technique of elimination. Like, what kind of questions have they asked, and what kind of questions can they ask now, this year? So there was uh, that, and uh, you need to read newspapers daily for finance, uh, for finance specifically, because that the uh, that tells you the kind of uh, financial instruments or the financial news that is coming into the uh, current perspective, because after all, paper are being made from the uh, happenings of uh, current times only. So that does give you a picture. Uh, for uh, English, like I mentioned in, for the phase one, it was not very different from it. Uh, I just uh, tried to write essays and uh, yeah, it was more of a thing that I had more confidence and more, uh, I, I find myself very uh, comfortable while dealing with the questions in English. Uh, yeah, so Vishank, uh, very beautiful strategy that you suggested. I believe that if you see an interview in the future, that candidate will love that strategy. But yeah, it can be different from everyone. But one thing that I noticed in your strategy, mein, that is the consistent practice that you mentioned. Ki, what is the importance of that? I mean, if any student consistently strategy, uh, consistently practice not practice, then what will be the loss in that case? Consistency and perseverance are two qualities that are very much needed because if you are studying today for six hours or ten hours and then you leave the book for one month, what's the point? Your ten hours are going to waste. So maybe you are uh, studying today for six hours, tomorrow for five hours and someday for just two hours. But you have to study. You have to inculcate this habit. This uh, helps you. This uh, being consistent not only helps you in the preparation phase, but also if you find yourself in a list in in uh, in a organization, you have to be consistently performed. You also have to consistently perform there. So your consistency is a quality which you take, uh, uh, which you take with yourself to multiple avenues. Yeah, and this brings me to the time. A question ये भी बहुत ज़्यादा आता है कि भाई क्या हमें दो महीने में prepare कर लेंगे क्या हम छह महीने में prepare कर लेंगे so what do you think? I mean, the time you take, you took for the this examination would be enough for a non-UPSC aspirant because you were a non-UPSC aspirant, which uh, definitely helped in clearing this examination. So, what do you think about the non-UPSC aspirant? I mean, same time would be enough. More time will be required because this question we have many students ask. Mm, yeah, I will definitely say my UPSC preparation did help me in clearing this exam. Uh, for someone who has not been, who has not given such kind of examinations, I will say that uh, uh, my preparation helped me in descriptive. So for me to give very separate time for that was not needed. But for someone who is coming from, uh, who is coming afresh or uh, who has never written any answers, you need to write uh, lots and lots of answers to understand where you are lacking. When I started my descriptive uh, answer writing for UPSC probably, I, I I found that I did not have sometimes data in my mind or even if I have data, I don't know how to write it. Mm. So from there I refined it and uh, that's how I was able to write answers in RBI. So if you are starting right now, you even though you may have the data, you may have the information, try to synchronize them, try to put them on the paper because that's the hardest part to write but you know. There are two parts of everything, what to do and how to do. So maybe you have, uh, you know what to do, try to learn how to do it. Mm -hmm. You are talking about consistency. I am going off a little again. Consistency ki baat ho rahi thi abhi to, uh, as an RRB IT officer, as a working aspirant, what helped you remain consistent and were you consistent in your prep for RBI or any other examination? So, the working students who do what they do or what they do, so that they can be consistent in their prep. Um, yeah, so like last year I got the job and uh, after that I tried to enjoy my life a little because it came definitely after three to four years. Hmm. But definitely you have to make your eyes uh, fixed at the goal. Hmm. My goal was that I have to clear RBI grade B and uh, for the same I did give uh, even uh, SEBI just to be in sync with the uh, both 
my material that I was reading and to test myself where I do where I currently stand in the uh, in the mass of uh, people that are giving the examinations. Mm. Consistency, like I like sir said, is uh, needed because at the end of the day, when you are come when you are coming back uh, to your room from office, you find yourself very tired. But at uh, that point, your uh, willpower, your consistency, your perseverance, these are the things that will make you again go to your table and uh, make study. Because you have uh, set yourself a goal to be in the RBI, to become an officer. And uh, that will definitely demand some sort of sacrifice. Uh, so I think uh, that's the place where consistency plays the most uh, part when your friends will be going out and when they will be enjoying and you will be studying. So that's uh, the place where you will have to keep your mind fixed. At. So did you also make those sacrifices? <laughs> uh, initial three, four months, uh, I think I enjoyed my life. I tried to because uh, it was becoming quite uh, hectic for me mm. but after that when I understood that uh, what my re what my goal has been mm. uh, I came back and uh, I started again with the reading of newspapers uh, keeping myself in sync with the uh, daily current affairs and uh, the kind of uh, questions previous year questions that RBI is asking that uh, different other organizations are asking so yeah you slowly but uh, steadily you do it Hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. Last question jo hai mera, wo interview ke mein hai. So, uh, you told me that your interview went on for 25 minutes, which is a long time. Ki kam ke hota hai. Aur uske, there are two meanings. Either you're going to get very high marks or very low marks. <laughs> so it is it is uh, very intimidating. So what happened in the interview? What kind of questions were asked? How were you feeling in the interview? Uh, yeah, so like I mentioned, my interview went for 25 minutes and uh, even though many people think that uh, the duration of interview decides your mark, it definitely does not in the RBI, I will say. So uh, even after giving the interview, there was there were apprehensions in my mind if it went well, if uh, you know, how many marks will I get. Uh, when, for, if I were to talk about interview, as uh, soon as I entered, there were the panelists were ready with their questions and uh, yeah they started uh, i will say kind of stress test mm. about the life choices about the career choices that i have made they asked me about my uh, gap year they asked me about what i was doing at that point of time why didn't i go for the private sector and uh, how what my goals are how my current organization and my current role is helping me achieve my goals how RBI will help me achieve my goals. Uh, then uh, they move towards the area of interest that I have mentioned in the biodata. Now here I would like to mention the importance of biodata. Those four or five uh, forms that you fill before going for the interview are the whole of your personality for the board to know from because they have not known you from before. Mm. They have been given this four or five papers which you yourself have filled. So they will be taken at face value that whatever you have written there, you must be able to justify it and they must be true because the people who are in the panel, they have more experience sometimes than your age. So yeah, be truthful there, be honest there. Uh, so when I like uh, I mentioned their international relations, uh, total five to six questions were based on that. They asked me about the world economy. They asked me about uh, the advantages that COVID brought for uh, India and uh, the economic uh, challenges that the world is currently facing and uh, yeah on the lines of it but Humban Tota Ford's uh, significance is there one question was there mm. uh, next uh, they moved towards uh, they asked me about the department that I would uh, like to work in I mentioned fintech there because of uh, one my graduation is in computer science and also because my work profile deals with the working of payment and settlement systems mm. so yeah i think i will i was able to justify it also because of my interest in the technology 
uh, is there, mm. which they uh, pointed out also. Mm. Um, then they moved towards the working of my organization that is differentiated banking, RRB. Uh, they asked me about questions for the KCC, Kisan credit card loans and uh, if uh, the amount that are that banks are investing in KCC, if it is on the correct level or uh, is it going over the board. Hmm. And also there is this uh, thing which people think that uh, if you if your interview is not flawless, they will not select you. I am a livid example here because I would like to mention I in one question I totally froze. I could not answer it. I lost the track. But uh, still the panel was cordial enough to you know let it go. They want to see your personality. So even though you may have not been able to answer something. How you carry out yourself after that and how you carry yourself out of that situation is what matters the most. Mm. Uh, in the last, uh, again, they asked me if uh, RBI is my second choice, which I again told them that uh, right now, no, definitely I have uh, been working for it, working for it hard for quite a many months. Mm. And uh, yeah, the amount of uh, time that I have given for this organization, I will I don't think that this is my second choice. Mm. Uh, then they came to again my organization. They asked a few questions mm. uh, regarding the kind of risk that are there in the market, in the loan. And uh, yeah, I think uh, the interview ended on a good note as they asked me about the meaning of my name, which uh, I found is something little unique. Mm. So yeah, that was something that ended. Uh, that was a beautiful explanation of the interview. Mm -hmm. I believe you remember it all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, congratulations once again, and uh, thanks a lot for coming here for sharing your views with the students. Because both honestly or अच्छे से अपनी बात को रखना that is also an art, and I believe you've done that. Uh, there is a small gift, uh, a very popular book. Ikki guy, this is for you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And uh, I am very sure you're going to do very well. Stay in touch even if uh, even when you are in RBI and uh, do well. So that was all uh, for uh, this series. Uh, we'll continue this with a lot of other successful students as well of RBI 2022. I am very hopeful that you have learned something new from Vishant's explanation, from his journey, from whatever mistakes he made, whatever uh, good things he did. In his preparation, how he used his advantages, how he overcame uh, his weaknesses and his challenges. I'll see you very, very soon again. All the best, guys. Take care. Bye bye.